Well, here we are in Sterling. That's the end of stage two here at the Santos Tour Down Under. I'm here again with Matt White to wrap the day. Whitey, pretty good result in the end uh, with Simon Gerrans running third and Cam Moore up there as well. Yeah, no, I couldn't be uh, happier actually. It's, today was always going to be a key day uh, because the non-sprinters really had to get rid of the big guys like Greipel and, uh, and other guys like that. And uh, to take any kind of time bonus on Sterling really sets us up well for Wollonga. It was a pretty impressive ride by Will Clark. Um, I'm not sure what the time gap blew out to, but from our end at the top of the hill, it was... 13 minutes is the biggest it got out to. 13 minutes, uh, 13 minutes. a fair effort. A finished up at a, under a minute, around, around a minute, I'm not sure the exact time. Um, so you would have been happy that in the end, uh, you know, they didn't manage to pull him back, but uh, it didn't blow out to sort of a proportion where that's going to be hard to pull back for the rest of the tour. No, because he was 1 minute 50 down at the start of the day anyway, so he's not in the jersey. Uh, so yeah, great wide by Will Clark, well-deserved winner today and everyone else. Well, the, we'll see when they split the bunch. Is it, our two guys are still well in the mix. So how do you think it's going to pan out over the next couple of days? Tomorrow's a pretty cruisy day, a uh, traditional bunch sprint day. Uh, depending on the wind when we get down to Victor Harbour, but it usually is a pretty pretty big group sprint. Uh, and then we've got a pretty tricky stage to Tanunda because it does start uphill, and I, I think it's a very good day for breakaways, especially seeing that there is so many guys off general classification now. It's a great day for, for an opportunist to Tanunda. And then obviously the big stage is Wollonga on Saturday. Are you talking about a bunch sprint? Is anyone in the group that's up and about that will probably be up there in the pointy end? Yeah, I think Gossie's getting better day by day, and uh, we saw that today. He was, uh, did a lot of work for his teammates today and got dropped in the last four kilometres on a very hard circuit. OK, well, we're two stages down, four to go. Make sure you subscribe to the Green Edge YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned to all the action here at the 2012 Santos Tour Down Under.